Hey, YouTube. Well, I'm here and stand in solidarity with my poop. Come here. <laughs> Say hello to people. Hi, people. Hi. What are you doing? Cameras. Okay, there you go. Wait a minute. Say hello to your people. Stay in there, boy. I'm standing in solidarity with my dog. So now he has been attacked. He and his kind have been attacked by the Donald. So Trump don't like dogs. They had a, they've had a dog in the White House for 120 years. He can't get out of himself far enough to even enjoy a, a, a pet. Well, being a dog lover myself, but I didn't get a dog until I was in my 40s. They can be good company. I think Trump needs someone to talk to. Someone he can expose all his ideas. <laughs> he can... He can <clears throat> Trump has a lot of yes people around him. They keep telling him everything he does is right. That's what he had before he got to the White House. That's why he's so tricked now because, oh no, not everybody except thinks everything you do is right. There's another side that thinks everything you do is wrong. So he would benefit from an animal. When he gets closed the door, we go behind the ears. The dog just sits by and just looks at you. They just love you so much, you know. There's got to be a reason why people like dogs. Why they have such a significant role in life. When I walk down the street with my dog, people, even the ones who don't stop to speak, they just look at him and they smile. Mm. They smile. Oh, can I touch his head? Sometimes he snaps at him, so. But after he gets to know him, you know, he can rub his head and kind of thing. And I was like that before I got an animal. They have a power in the earth. I think the idea of having a dog at the White House is because it's, 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 it's symbolizing family. There's always a family dog. Not that he will go out and clean up the dog shit. That's probably what he's thinking about, you know, that mind of his. He would have hire somebody to do that, somebody to do the walking, of course. Somebody, some staff person would do all the work, but he can't even relate to a dog. <laughs> It tickles me now that he is about to uh, compromise again. He don't get no billions of dollars. So now we're going to make his whole presidency about an unnecessary stupid wall. That's all we talk about. I mean, how is the hell is the government even running when all this child talks about is the damn wall? Now, I've watched, you know, I told you I like gangster movies, right? And recently I've been watching a lot of the... Um, I don't like dope movies where people are shooting up and all that kind of stuff. But I find the, the gangster part kind of fascinating. Every time I watch a movie about smugglers or people in drug trade, drug cartels, Mexican cartels, Colombian cartels, there's not even one scene when somebody's coming across that border with a backpack full of drugs. That ain't enough. They always go through tunnels through the airport, through the port, over the water. I think even if you're writing fiction, there's one over here now about uh, El Chapo. I guess that's based on real life kind of thing, and he just did just get convicted. But even when you're writing fiction, you're writing, you want it to be realistic, right? So you want to base it on something realistic, what actually happens. What is a... a, a what do they call them? Moles? Or what, are they, what are those people called? Moles? I'm, I gotta watch another movie. When the pe people swallow the balloons of dope, people have them in their hams, they cut the ham out, and put stuff in with it, and then put the ham back in. Kind of, there's all kind of ways to smuggle drugs. They don't. People are not trying to get something you can carry over the border. So that's just bullshit. He is going to have no effect on the drug trade in the United States at all. By building this huge ass wall, which it seems to be all we talk about. So maybe if Trump had him a nice dog, he could go home and talk to the dog. Come here, dog. And he can say what his plans are and what his rationale is to the dog. And therefore hear himself talking. And maybe perhaps at some point he'll say, well, you, that don't make no damn sense. Or sometimes the dog will just look at you. <laughs> and the dog is telling you, you sound like a goddamn fool. Okay, so Trump don't like animals. Uh, I guess a lot of people don't like animals, whatever. 
But he has a family. I mean, what about the kid? He has a kid, a teenage kid, preteen. He's going to be deprived of the love of an animal. I'm sure when he's in that White House, he's not having very much relationship with other, other kids. What's wrong with just opening the house up to have a dog there? Oh, could you see me walking with a dog? It ain't about you, Trump. It's not about how you look walking a dog. The dog needs to be walked. Anyway, I thought that was uh, not amusing. Disgusting. Come on, baby. Say hello. Stand up for, for a man and dog. Come here. We're going to stand together. We're going to stand in solidarity. They're right here. How could you resist that? Look at that face. Come here. Look at that. Look at you. Look at that face. Look at that. How could you not love that little face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when Obama's arrived in my house, I don't think Barack had much relationship with animals at that point, but he promised his daughters, he says, after all this is done, I promise you, you're going to get your little puppy. That's what the kids wanted, right? Got him a puppy, and Bo has become a part of the family. I've seen it over and over and over again. People think they don't like dogs. They get that little face in there, and they realize that the dog loved them and depends on them, and they take pleasure in taking care of the animal. So now they got two bows. <laughs> I don't know what the other bow is. They got two of them. See? Michelle fell in love with the dog. Brock fell in love with the dog. The kids already love the dog. It's not a bad thing, Trump. And it's not about how you look walking him. Like you're going to walk somewhere. You need to be walking on a treadmill.